would it be like if we were to stay here? If you were to stay at our home, when they were going to kill you, to do what to do, to even abuse you, do bad things. You are very selfish, and they are unkind. When if you are sick now, you want to die, they will never help you. They will just laugh at you, see you like a god. That's really hard to, to hear and understand, isn't it? I don't know what I'm doing. What's your, if you could give me one, one of your favourite things about this accommodation, what would it be? Like just one thing. Oh, why do from here life is easy because nobody can now bully me. Even if this light is there, I can read and we can play. Even we have many boys who can play from that field, <laughs> nobody can chase us away. And it balanced that. It's a lot better. It's nice to hear that. You don't live with your brothers and sisters and your mum, is that difficult? From here life is easy but sometimes I think about my mum and my brothers and sisters. Does that make you upset? Sometimes it makes me very sad. Do you still get to see them sometimes? Yes. Educate has Darwington to help you. How has that made a difference? How has he helped you? Um, give me requirements and pay my school fees. And um, even he helped me, he took me from that bad place and he brought me here. And he took me to a very good school. I'm now free. I'm, I'm now not sad. Good. <laughs> Once you finish your education, do you know what you want to do after that? Yes. I want to be a doctor. Why Why a doctor? If my relative falls sick, I can't be. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mary, if me and Charlie came to live in Uganda and we had to do the things that you had to do, like carrying water, how would how do you think me and Charlie would cope? Uh, you would become very weak. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be very good. Not as good as you? <laughs> <laughs> do you think we would struggle? Yes. Why? <laughs> those grasses and those pan of firewood, they are very, very heavy. Um, and, uh, if the place is too far, we collect those uh, firewoods from very far place. That's it. Then we are not used to <laughs> those grasses and those kind of firewoods. We're not strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, before we moved you to a different accommodation, how come you had to get up so early at 4 o'clock? What, what did you do? reason why I wake up very early in the morning, if I reach school late, then they can send me back, but I should go home back, because I'm very late. So if you got to school late, they would send you back home? Yes. How far did you have to walk to get to school? Five kilometers. It's a long way. And you walked every day? Yes. On your own, or...? When Saturday we just only rest on Sunday. Yeah. Did you walk to school on your own? Yes. Yes. What time did your school finish? At six. And then you'd have to walk six all the way p. home again? Yes. What what time would you get home? Sometimes I reach at at eight. In at night time? But when if I if I'm to run, then I can reach at seven. 
a fair do not go home to your school. I don't know how far it is to walk to school, but it takes me about half an hour. It's about 30 minutes to walk to school every day. It only takes me about 15 minutes from my house to get to my school. You use a transfer? No. Okay, what did you No, oh, I just move. Yeah, I walk to school. You live from there. It's easy or oh, difficult as mine. It's much easier than yours. Very different yeah. in England. You have to work much harder than us. Can you also take me there? <laughs> you can come visit yeah. with us. You have to come back with us. <laughs> do you have your brothers and sisters? I do. I have an older sister, uh, a younger sister and a younger brother. Just me at home on my own with my mum. No brothers, no sisters. <laughs> do, do you know my sister? <laughs> <laughs> I have a sister now. Mary, if there was anything you would like to say to girls back in England your age, what would it be? Yes. I want to thank, first of all, I want to thank the kid for helping me, for solving my problem. I want you to say that you other people from out there, I want to say to help just the people like me. We, from Uganda here, yeah, we, we have a lot of challenges, so if you could help people of Uganda, I would be very glad.